Hello friends, in this video I will make an uh, active load with this kit was bought from China. Let's begin. I bought uh, two kits like this was under uh, $10 here we have a very good quality PCB and here we have all the parts we have multi-turn potentiometer, power resistors and uh, these are the, mo the MOSFETs this kit has uh, 150 watts and needs external uh, voltage 12 volts. I will use a meter like this. This shows uh, voltage, amps and power. I will use one of these heat sinks this one or this one I will see after I will put everything together and this will be the case first of all I will uh, mount this kit so every piece is in uh, its position and uh, now let's make the first test I will use 12 volts uh, auxiliar voltage and here I put 24 volts 1 amp let's make sure this is uh, the minimum yes potentiometer is on minimum I uh, I forgot to turn on this uh, now I will turn on this uh, power adapter so we have 12 volts input let's put a potentiometer on minimum position and now it's 24 volts uh, 1 amp adjustment of power supply and now let's uh, increase the potentiometer let's rotate there is no current consumption I've reached to the maximum position and the current is 0 amps it seems that I made a mistake now let's uh, test everything first of all I will check the input voltage I will let the potentiometer on maximum so we have supply voltage it's good 12 volts now let's measure the voltage after this bridge rectifier on these capacitors we have a drop of voltage on a bridge rectifier here we have 11 volts it's good now let's measure the voltage on this ic voltage regulator here we have 2.5 volts, it's good. So here we have 2.5 volts. After this resistor we have 0.5 volts. It's the drop of voltage on this resistor. Now let's uh, check the connections to the potentiometer. Starting from right. This one is ground. Second one is uh, this, and the third one 
it's this so for this one it's ground second one it's uh, the cursor of the potentiometer and the third one it's the input it seems that I made a mistake because on uh, maximum when the potentiometer is fully ro rotated in uh, right on the output we should have uh, input voltage and on the output we have uh, zero volts let's check the connections to the potentiometer so in the right should be the ground I made a mistake when I connected this uh, potentiometer because uh, in the schematic we have one, two and three pins on uh, this potentiometer we have one, three and two pin and I uh, didn't verify if this uh, pin out it's the same with this one and uh, the pin numbers are not the same and I have to modify I will not desolder here I will modify only this first of all I will put the middle of the potentiometer here in the middle now I have to put the beginning and the end yellow is the beginning and black is end to the ground so we have a ground from the right ground, middle and beginning now let's test again I moved to the beginning I have one amp. It seems the I have to reverse the wires. Now I will move to the end. Now the current is almost zero. I will increase. It seems it's working now. 0 0.5 amps 1 amp I have only now it seems it's working I have to reverse the wires for the end and beginning now let's make another test I move to the beginning and the current is zero I uh, rotate to the right and the current is uh, increasing when I reach to 1 amp the voltage drops to 0 0.2 volts I put this current limit because this uh, has no heat sink and I want to avoid the overheating now they are warm now first step is completed now I have uh, to see how I uh, will arrange this in the case and mount a heat sink now let's see how we can arrange this now this will be the final shape I will use this uh, old uh, PC heat sink. I put this aluminum plate here. I made a hole and I uh, 
put this uh, screw here I will put uh, this MOSFET but uh, before that I will have to put uh, some isola isolation underneath here because otherwise aluminum plate will make here short circuit now we can make some power test I will use uh, 24 volts and 5 amps now let's increase now we have 1 amp it's uh, starting to get warm now we have uh, 25 watts this uh, aluminum plate it's hot but the heat sink it's not hot I have to put some uh, thermic pad because doesn't have uh, good thermal contact now it's too hot I put the current to zero now let's make another test the same I will adjust to one amp now it's much better but it's still uh, very warm this should uh, take uh, 150 watts but uh, now we have 25 watts and it's very warm I have to find a better solution because this it's very warm and here it's uh, this it's very cold and this it's very hot let's see what happened without the fan here it's very very cold and here it's very hot it seems that this uh, part should be bigger I have to replace this part this plate I made this piece to replace this one because this it's not a good heat conductor now mm -hmm. let's uh, replace with this one and see what happens now let's make another test I forgot to put uh, the potentiometer we'll use the same one amp 24 volts and 24 watts let's see if now it's better it's much better but it's not perfect because here it's hot and here it's warm I want to see if the heat sink will get warm without the fan I uh, will have to make another try and I will move uh, the transistor closer to the fan I moved the, the heat sink closer to the transistors and I had to cut here because otherwise I could not uh, bend this to the plate now let's make some tests it's the same 24 volts and 1 amp now it's better it's not perfect but it's better because here closer to the transistors the plate it's not very hot now let's go to 2 amps now we have uh, 50 watts and this is very hot 
but the heater it's not very hot it's cold I can use this only for small powers and I have to modify this and put uh, the power transistors directly to the heatsink because now it's not a good heat conductor now I will put everything in the case I was not happy with uh, other heatsink because and because I like to make everything perfect I decided to replace that heater with this one it's also recycled from old uh, PC now let's make some tests later I can add a small fan here if uh, I will need but let's see how it's working now now it's 1 amp and I will let few minutes to see what happens transistors are not very warm but the heat sink is starting to be warm transistors have 30 degrees celsius now let's try 2 amps transistors are not very hot but the heat sink it's hot it's very hot I have to find a fan and put here a small fan I've put everything together and this is the final shape The values are uh, almost the same. Now, this one it's not calibrated yes, yet, but the values are the same. This is the voltage, supply voltage. Now I just have to put the screws here. I hope that you have learned from my mistakes and uh, you will make uh, everything uh, good from first try. If you find this helpful, please give a big like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.